What's up my ponyos? Andy with Andy Vlogs. Decided to share with you guys this content. As the title suggests, we're gonna be reviewing another product that was dropped on the GoPro website, basically as like a silent drop, no advertising, no email campaigns of the 2.0 three-way tripod grip arm selfie stick. The three-way is one of my favorite products of GoPro. It's also one of my least favorite products of GoPro because of all the engineering flaws that, that are associated with the 1.0. They've revamped it. They've come at it at a different angle. I think what they've got to offer here is gonna be awesome for those that go out, explore, have fun, shoot this as their daily driver. Just so you know, this is not a sponsored review. GoPro has in no way collaborated with me, which I hope they do. Nonetheless, this is just someone who loves GoPro and all the accessories, especially with the Hero 9 that has come out. Let's go ahead and unbox it. All right, you can see kind of the sales aids here. Very, very straightforward, put together. Open up the box here. I've always hated opening up these boxes. They're just sealed shut with super glue. Breaking this open here. Firstly, it comes with a wrist strap, which is great. Flip it over, you've got your instruction information. And then here it is itself. No assembly, honestly, is required. Although it is a little disappointing that it appears that it doesn't come with any of the extra hardware to attach to this mount. It does nicely fold into itself ergonomically. You've got these rugged twisty clamps here as well as the second joint rugged twisty clamp. I like the touch of the wrist grip. It did have the place to put it on the 1.0 but you just had to buy it yourself. The whole device itself can kind of tilt on this one axis, which is nice. And then you unscrew the second axis and it, it gives you that selfie stick kind of a orientation. Up here, you've got the ball and joint that I mentioned to give you, I'd say 270 degree of, of rotation. And then you've got the tripod mount itself again again manufactured similarly to that max handle selfie stick this again folds into itself and kind of acts as so you can kind of put it together like this and then put these two legs out and that becomes your tripod your little mini tripod putting them side by side it appears to be about the same amount of mass maybe not the same amount of weight so you're not getting this grooved rubbery grip it is more of a composite plasticky grip though that i feel like is anti sweat it'll allow you for a good grip again the tripod's built right into the handle as opposed to 1.0 having the tripod mount on the other side. This being a really, really poor manufacturing point of compromise. One thing to note here is you can actually take this off and it does serve as its own little mini tripod. You do have the slot here to put the wrist strap, but you need to get your own third party wrist strap. Let's look at the adapter here. You can see the ball and joint replaced the typical adapter. This being, again, what it feels like a point of compromise. As you can see, I've got this tightened and this is just, if you over tighten it, you're gonna snap these. I'm sure if you drop this with the GoPro on it, it's not gonna be ideal to say the least. Now, comparing the length of these bracket arms, these extendable arms, you can notice that the 1.0 does have about an inch, an inch and a half on this, you know, this forearm here. As far as the second joint, you've probably got maybe a quarter inch difference. If you incorporate the adapter, you're getting probably a good inch in height. So when we fully extend these, I'm gonna say that they're probably about the same in height. And my suspicion is confirmed. They are gonna be roughly the same height because of this joint, this ball and joint and adapter. However, these this base arm on the two on the 1.0 is longer. On the 1.0, you had this kind of locking mechanism, 
before it like came in, you had to like push this blue button to lock it completely into place. I never liked that. It was always so odd in, in its build of why that is. I have no idea for putting it away. I also never found that it fully closed on itself. You have always had this gap. When you have it like this and then you fully tighten it, it still moves quite a bit. This joint itself does not give you a secure fasten. And that's what always bothered me about this device. In start comparison here, we're going to go ahead and tighten this joint. And I can't move that. I mean, I could, but I'm not going to because it, it might break. A very, very strong and reasonable locking mechanism here. Folding it on itself. Let's go to this uh, main joint. There's no clicking mechanism. It just fully articulates as it's intended. And then when you tighten it, that tightening feels really good and it like stops. There's no like gradual tighten. This joint itself is very, very sturdy. I feel like when you tighten it again, it's not moving. It's not going anywhere. So that's, that's really, really comforting because I sat at Disney world and I placed this and had it upright and it literally fell when I was trying to take a picture with the family. It bothered me, I was annoyed. We're not lying if you wanna go uh... I'm glad they revamped this, so now that the 2.0 provides you a very, very stable, sturdy tripod, as well as very sturdy joints, so that, you know, if blown by weather, it's not impacted. Now, I do already notice, but when you place this in its current position that it is very back heavy so when there is wind there could be a chance that it does blow and i don't like that uh that's if you have this second joint fully articulated to the back and the the first joint you know upright in the middle it does seem like it doesn't bear the weight good i mean if i put this media mod with the lens the light on it, I presume it's gonna fall. I've never used this adapter. I've always felt like their adapters were always better than third parties, but I never really have products that use this adapter where I'm fastening it to stuff. The adapter here, it snugs tightly. You push down the rubber and there it goes. Now you've got a secure joint there. All right, now I've appropriately <laughs> installed the nine on here with the media mod. I've got, I didn't realize that I was using my eight. Nonetheless, this is what you're gonna look like here when you've just got the regular handheld mode. If you're wanting to go to Disneyland, Disney World and use this, this is what it's gonna look like. You've got your wrist strap, which isn't, I think, in a great position uh, for holding it in the event that it drops. I've got the tripod uh, opened up. It doesn't quite correlate with when it is in that standard position but when you've got the tripod legs out um, it does give you more stabilization you're just going to change the direction of the ball and joint that'll give you a nice stable hyperlapse or time lapse let's go ahead now and extend it up higher if you want to have it more of a front facing maybe about a foot or two off the ground i think this is reasonable it is very top heavy to say the least, but I think this tripod is giving you a good, stable, full holding. Although if it does bump from the back, you're you could be you could be a dunzo. If you're setting this up for a time lapse, group shot, fully out stretched, it is definitely much more wobbly. It's back heavy, and that's kind of what I feared. I'm just not really comfortable putting this upright on the ground for longer than maybe a few seconds because of how like not stable it is. But that's what it looks like standing upright. It's gonna give you probably two feet. All right, let's talk price point. This is gonna be about $20 cheaper than the Max Pro tripod and that's probably gonna be a deal breaker for you. With that said, folks, again, this is not an advertisement. This is just uh, a fellow consumer and action cam enthusiast and amateur vlogger reviewing products that he loves. Um, if you are looking for, honestly, an option better than the Max tripod and you already have this in your arsenal, 
I wouldn't recommend this. However, if you're deciding on the two, I think because of the versatility here of the grip with the strap, it's going to be better as, as far as um, the price point goes as well. If you are choosing between these two, don't get this. If you're choosing to upgrade, definitely get it. This is a liability. I've dropped my camera already a couple of times because of this. All in all, the three-way 2.0 is, is really exciting. I'm really glad and, and hopeful for this. If you liked any of this content, folks, hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Any products in this video that you saw that you're interested in, I have links for as well in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Andy with Andy Vlogs, signing out.